guys and welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see why is it that the universe sent you this person into your life. Okay, so why is it that you've crossed paths with them? What is it that you need to know about this person, your connection with this individual? And you know, what is the reason, the purpose, the reason behind the two of you meeting each other, crossing paths with each other. Is there a lesson? Is this a blessing? Okay, we'll go ahead and see what the cards have to say about your connection with a certain individual in your life. Just reminding you all that this is going to be a general reading. For those of you that are interested in a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below the video where the show more section is. Otherwise, let's go ahead and let's see what the cards uh, have to reveal to you here. Please take a moment to really focus on your person. Try and hold a visual of your person in your mind and we'll see what exactly is the reason behind the two of you crossing paths with one another. The lover's card has flown out, but it's sort of um, come out upside down. So I'm going to take that as a sign that the cards, the card in particular wants to be read in reverse. And it's interesting that the two cards you do have in reverse are the lovers and the page of cups. Firstly, I'm seeing that this person didn't necessarily love you the way that you want to be, you wanted to be loved. Maybe they were not emotionally available. Maybe they were, you know, incapable of meeting your needs, your expectations here when it comes to love. But I feel like what this person has taught you, okay? I feel like the reason why the two of you have crossed paths um, is a num there's a number of reasons here. So it's not just, you know, they've come into their life, into your life for a singular purpose. I feel like there's a number of lessons to have emerged from out of this relationship and out of this emotional experience. Um, it feels like there's a bit of an awakening. It feels like there's, um, it feels like there's a fact, there's many factors why the two of you has, have crossed paths here. Uh, one of them being is that I feel like this person was opening your eyes to the simple fact that you have to allow the right person to come into your life either through fate through destiny or through chance some of you in the past or with with regards to this particular um, individual you have sort of tried to force okay you you tried to you know you tried to sort of see potential partners as being the one for you And that felt very exhausting, okay? Because maybe a lot of you were always sort of calculating. And you were always looking for someone to appear.
but I'm seeing what is much less exhausting is that just allow for the right person to enter your life and don't try and force a match between yourself and someone else. That is going to be far less exhausting and far more rewarding as well than you constantly trying to find the right fit, the right one, or you know, try and force fit something to happen. So allow love to find you instead of going out to find it, if that makes sense. Okay, so allow love to happen naturally and that will feel far less stressful and far less exhausting in the process rather than have something that's contrived or you know not necessarily real here also um there's this the two of you have definitely attracted each other okay like attracts like not in the sense that you want to attract someone whose personality is exactly like yours, but the idea behind that is you want to attract a love that attracts itself to you. But that obviously begins with you. So in order to attract a healthy partner, and in order to attract someone who's going to love you the way that you want to be loved, you need to be, you yourself need to be that healthy partner. You yourself need to show yourself some self-love and some self-care. You yourself need to show yourself kindness, love and compassion and only then can you attract, right? The idea behind the law of attraction or like attracts like is that is that the energy you give off is then attractive to others. So being positive and being confident with yourself and you know with who you are is most certainly going to attract a love that is similar to you in its own time but again just allow you know love shouldn't be a burden here and for some of you you've you i'm getting that you've honestly exhausted yourself in the process trying to make this connection happen and even though i'm not saying that there wasn't an emotional connection or there wasn't feelings uh, of love involved it just felt like you were a lot more invested and you were really exhausting yourself in the process you were really expediting yourself and finding the right person or find you know just trying to make this happen um it's a funny thing you know if you let love happen naturally it most certainly will walk through the door unexpectedly when you least expect it but for some of you you know it, it shouldn't be burdensome it should be fun that's what it should be right not burdensome but fun Patience, it's also taught you this connection with this person, okay, this particular individual. It's also taught you, you know, it can, you know, there's the whole notion of the right person at the wrong time. So just because it didn't work out, it doesn't mean that it might not work later down the track. But just allow yourself to learn the lessons that it's taught you about yourself as an individual, about yourself as a romantic partner here, as a husband, as a wife, as a girlfriend, as a, as a boyfriend here. Patience is going to bring the right person along, okay? But patience is the key to finding that right person or letting love find you. Rushing into finding someone or making just anyone fit that profile of being the one is going to open you up, is open is going to open you up to the vulnerability of falling for the wrong person, okay? Falling for the wrong one or just someone who might be looking for a bit of fun or a bit of a casual fling, okay? So it all begins with you and I'm seeing that you know, there's a lot of lessons with regards to this connection, okay? They loved you, but not in the way that you wanted to be loved, okay? They couldn't necessarily, you know, maybe you wanted commitment and they wanted a little bit of fun, okay? So I think there was, essentially this person came into your life and it's like they held up a mirror to you and this person reflected back to you things about your shadow self, aspects, shadow aspects about yourself that you need to work on, okay? You've definitely attracted this person into your life, okay? Everything that, every person that comes into your life, okay? Every positive or negative experiences is a direct manifestation of your thoughts, of your attraction here. So you've attracted this person just as they've attracted, you know, them into your life sorry you into their life but i don't know that this is your forever person because we do get with the lovers in reverse and the page of cups we either get that this is a connection that's ended perhaps temporarily or perhaps you know for the long haul but it was not for nothing there were so many lessons and there was so much growth that has come out of it i mean was it uncomfortable was it challenging was it tumultuous yes but 
was it burdensome yes was it fun at times yeah it was and and you know was there love yes maybe not as much as you want it to have been uh, was there lust yes i mean you know there was a lot of goodness to have come out come out of this and there was a lot of lessons okay so both a blessing and a lesson these two cards in reverse tells us that there was or there is a disharmony that's present in the connection uh imbalance okay uh, indecision a conflict of some sort a turmoil or you know a turbulency here okay strong imbalance so you're not necessarily at one point you are on, on the same vibe or you were on the same vibrational frequency but it might not have been a positive one like you yourself are having self-doubts about yourself or about love and romance in general and your energy therefore attracted this person's energy because they too shared those self-doubts okay about themselves or about love and that's just an example but on some level you've clearly attracted each other whether on a positive or a negative level but i can see that there is you know emotional maturity in their behavior and a disharmony and it could be a case of the right person at the wrong time it's just that i think that this person hasn't necessarily evolved to where you are at at right now the both of you are on your own unique individual journeys and you had to cross paths because you do have a role to play in each other's journey uh, for some it's just going to be you know they're only going to be take up a chapter of your book for others they may stay longer than that they may still they may stay till till the end they may come in and out of your life but there's a reason why you've crossed paths because for some of you you know you have to you had to go separate ways because they're part of the journey meant that you know it was interwoven into your destiny and meant that you had to cross paths because they had to open your eyes to certain flaws or insecurities that you have you know to shadow aspects of yourself that you need to do some inner work on and similarly you had to do the same for them yes they're lacking emotional maturity yes they can't give you what it is that you need at this particular point in time but you know th th there's so much learning and there's so much growing and evolving to come out of it and i don't know that this person has evolved to where you're at right now so they they have to kind of play catch up their particular journey i mean everyone's journey is unique everyone's journey is in, you know it is individual there is no right or wrong but it feels like this person isn't you're not matched up in that sense if that makes sense i hope i'm not confusing everyone like you had to cross paths but for the time being that's you know there, there were lessons that this person has brought um to your attention but i don't know that this person has anything else in them um i, I feel like this person has served their purpose for the, for now okay and i think it's important that you you know don't discount or dismiss this experience and that you open yourself up to you know all, all the lessons all the lessons and the teachings that this individual brought into your life about yourself about romance about relationships you know about maybe attachment styles because it's there's a lot of growth a lot of expansion in the energies here and it just feels like right now you're part of the journey the part of the journeys that you're both at they don't match they don't overlap they don't cross over so this is why you have to part ways so that they could do some inner work so that they could do some growing some evolving and some learning and you know you could do the same um unfortunately you this is the part of the journey which i feel like you have to undertake in solitude at least for the time being and it feels like when you're much more closely aligned and you know much in much more vibrational sync and uh, frequency with one another it's likely that your paths will cross again i mean they will because i feel like the destiny of this connection has not been fully fulfilled it hasn't been fully realized so i do see that your paths have crossed there is an imbalance but i do feel like your paths will cross again and i feel like this is something that you intuitively know and you also feel that's why you shouldn't be scared to let them go because essentially whoever is meant for you whatever is meant for you will come back will naturally gravitate towards you and it may take a little bit longer than you imagined but love is patient love is kind so do give it the you know the time and the patience that this relationship requires okay guys and these are your messages thanks so much for your time your energy please show your support by liking sharing and subscribing to the channel bye for now